Hey guys, making an attempt to get my head out of my ass when it comes to recording and actually try and keep it consistent. Um, yeah, I have to go through this era. Um, when we left, left our femme fatale of a hero, I guess, uh, we were just, you know, trying to get to Amorbus and stuff, and of course I couldn't- Okay, get out of the way! Oh my god, I'm losing a ton of health. Because I took the really stupid way. Oh my god, why is there not any like health reprieve here? I don't know. Hopefully there will be some blade pods I can use, and of course these are only giving me weak sauce energy. Like tens and stuff. Mm, okay, there's a few blade pods here. Now I have to like constantly be looking for Oh wow. There's a thirty energy there. Alright, so just a few more doors and I'll be good to go here. A lot of blade pods here, so I'm gonna kinda stock up off of these if I can. Um a little bit of energy there. Okay, some missiles I don't really need. Missiles aren't very useful against some Morbus, it's just charge of light beam shots that really work the best. And I know there are a few blade pods along the way and of course there are these beacons. Uh, this would be the door. Wait, no, okay. Wait, is it? I'm confused. Ah, oh, oh, um, okay. Okay, somehow made it. Now, Amorbis, he is a three pronged worm thing, and I say that, well, you'll see it. It's like a three pronged worm that it, it's originally attached to a ball, but you don't really see the ball through the rest of the fight. And yeah, this is the thing where you have to do this and stuff. Uh, I want to say I'll make it with like two and a half energy tanks, but I should probably wait until at least I get to zero on the next one. So, uh, this is the end of Aegon Wastes, and here we go. Let's fight us a giant worm thing, or three things rather. Anyway, you put the three temple keys you've collected around Dark Aegon Wastes them here. This boss shouldn't take me more than five, six minutes. Max, I mean. This is a pretty easy boss. Uh, the thing is, the most dangerous thing about this is, like, I mean, there's only three crystals here, and he can permanently... Yeah, this is a Morbus. Uh, he can get rid of, like, one of them if he chooses, if he, like, fires a spray at one of the crystals, yeah. And... Jesus. Thing okay, the main problem with this boss I have found is actually hitting him. First of all, you can scan this, although it won't do you any good. To scan it, you have to actually wait until it's there. Oh jeez. Okay, that's a Morbus, so we got him in the logbook now. So I'm gonna start out pretty easy. And uh for this first like set, uh only one appears, and you can see uh, it was yellow, which means I only stunned him at this point. You have to just like see how he's kind of turning from black to pink, and oh my god, a ton of energy! Ah, Jesus! And again, look at how much energy they drop. Jeez. Okay, this is where the fight gets rather interesting. You have to scan him again for a second for him here. Um, this is like uh. You, this is the part where he kind of has this armor thing, and if you, like, you have to just stun the blade armor he has going on here. And that'll hurt him, or that will stun him, and then you want to get into his mouth and lay bombs. Much like the stone toads, except it doesn't actually kill them in one hit. And you see how he kind of, like, held the ball up. He can see he kind of cracked the ball a little. Now, the... Um, bad thing about this fight is every time you do one of that to one of the worms, two start like another one starts appearing until three are going full force, and uh, that is not fun. Did I hit that thing? I would be shocked if I did. Now, uh, again, I can usually get through this with charge beam or just like power beam, but if you want to be more practical about it, you can use light beam. Although, uh, only, I recommend only using that if you're at short range. 
or feel like using a charge beam shot or like a charge light beam shot. And every time you destroy one of the worm's armor completely, or like the worm's armor completely, it gives you like a ton of energy. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe, maybe that's just because I'm on normal. I don't know. And yes, this time you have to fight two of them. So, I'd re oh, this is kind of bad right here. Yeah, they fire like a laser thing once there's two of them. And no, this is not a new scan. And you like want to stay away from the laser thing, but good news is on this mode it doesn't really do it a whole lot. And uh, they can. I don't actually know if this is the one I was hurting before, because they kind of rotating around and stuff. Yeah, this is where he kind of is a douche. And yeah, kind of. You have to kill both of them. That's kind of lame. So yeah. Another worm, the other worm will dive in, and I don't think that the, like, uh, the worm that was just hurt will actually dive around until after, uh, this worm is done, so, and by done I mean, like, does this. Yeah, so that's the second phase of the boss fight done, which is really is the same as the first, same as the first, and again, you just have to do it one more time with all three worms on it. Uh, so that, yeah, that's pretty much a Morbus in a nutshell. I'm gonna fight the rest of it, him, and hopefully there will be some lols. I guess I gotta stop saying lols IRL. Okay. Ooh. All right, I got it. what the. Oh Jesus! Appear right in front of me. Why don't you? Okay. Um. Don't want to attack that one yet. Okay, I do want to attack this one because I'll probably get him. Alright, I got a ton of stuff. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> that was awesome. Really bad, because apparently I'm known for doing that. Basically, for each of these, you have to know when the next one is coming if you want to do any damage. Okay, that one's done. So basically, uh, I think I've taken care of two of them. Now I want to just take care of the last one. Uh, thing about the light beam is it's charged or it's regular shots are pretty like limited in range. Uh, but like the charge shots are like have good range. Okay, this is without a doubt the most annoying part of the fight. Uh, because this is where it starts getting a little bit harder. I mean, you expected that, but it's. It's still annoying, and yeah, they'll be jerks like that and reverse it. And the thing is, like, the lasers aren't actually that dangerous. It's the fact that they push you away. Like, out, out into the atmosphere. I'm gonna scroll over to the next crystal. Okay, that's one I'm taking care of. Alright, then. Get my voice cracked, right? It's always fun to deal with. Yeah, that worm's kind of done. Okay, I guess this one wants to be fought. Yay, they're doing this again, which means it'll waste more time. Yeah, you know when I said this would take me like six minutes? I kind of lied. This fight started at like four, I think, or something like I don't even know. I can't even pay attention anymore. The point is, this is a pretty easy fight, except for the fact that they're dicks and remove your source of sustenance from the horrible surface of dark ether. And I killed this one when it was rather far away, so, yeah. And back into the light crystal we go. So this one is, and yeah, I kind of forgot they dive in. Yeah, why don't you just uh, shoot down a light that's that far away from you? That, that's real smart. I didn't know you could do that to two at once. Alright, and with that, Amorbus is defeated. I don't know what's with that weird exoskeleton thing. Just slams it into the ground, spazzing out. And explodes. Or no, it deteriorates. I forgot how all these bosses, like, die. And inside that ball, it explodes. And the dark suit. Yay. 
Now the dark suit is probably the most, it, it is the most useful item up to this date because uh, not only does it reduce your, uh, the damage you take from enemies, but uh, and it also, like, remove, it doesn't completely remove it, but it like really, really lessens the damage you take from e Dark Aether's atmosphere. So instead of like having it 10 per second like I think it is now or something, it's 1 per second. It'll do 1 unit of energy per second. And plus this is probably my favorite suit out of any of the suits of the three games. I mean, uh, it's just awesome. Anyway, uh, well, if you count the fusion suit from Metroid Prime, like the bonus thing, that's pretty sweet too, but... Uh. That's besides the point. You, as you can see, I'm do it's doing a lot less damage, and yeah. So now, the the uh, burp. The only thing left to do is to get the energy from the dark egg on energy controller, put it in, put it like take it. I guess withdraw it using the energy transfer module, and yeah, bring it back to light ether. Bring it back to the light. What I never understood is why do they have a light beacon on the dark energy controllers when the like the if the ing put this there, then why is there a light beacon there or a light wait, never mind. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. I forgot the Luminoth put this here, it's just a dark version of it. It's like the meteor ripped the worlds in two, but somehow this world got a hold of a little bit more of the energy. I was thinking about this earlier, it's like, if the Luminoth are said to be good and the Ing are said to be evil, then why is are, why are the Luminoth striving for all the energy and just completely killing the Ing? I mean, doesn't that make them a little evil? I mean, shouldn't the energy be half and half? I mean, yes, the meteorite ripped, like, it ripped the like planet in half basically but that doesn't mean you get to be jerks about it I mean you have to deal with it I mean the ink should have a right to live too but what's really weird about the entire thing is that uh like if the meteorite when it like landed on the earth it's not like it had an intention what the it's not like it had the in like an intention oh god warrior it's not like it intended to create these manifestations of evil. I mean, if it's like a dark cosmic object or something, like, then I can understand. But it's not like a sentient being. I mean, I don't understand how these ink could have been created. And if they were created for like a purpose, then why is it to steal all the energy of this specific planet? I, I don't get it. Uh, I'm confusing even myself now. I should probably stay near this beacon because it's charged and stuff. I uh, wonder what the dark beam. I know. Well, that was fun. All right. Well, that was pretty easy. No, I just wait. Okay. Now I just have to make it back to light ether. Uh, there's nothing actually left to do in Aegon Wastes until we get some more stuff. But uh. Uh, we, we'll come back here for, like, power-up progression and stuff, but, like, again, that's the last major item, and, uh, there's a few missile expansions, too, I believe we can get in, like, uh, Temple Grounds and Great Temple, respectively. So, uh, wait, am I even going the right way? Yeah, I am. I'll just take the portal site and run back. So, yeah, and I can actually t use this, or use this room now because I don't take a million damage. It. I need some light beam ammo. Um, yeah. Basically, um, to recap this segment, we beat him. We got to the Sky Temple. We beat him, Morbus, and oh my God, Dark Troopers. Um, and I ranted about stuff that doesn't matter. So, yeah. Okay, seriously, get the fuck out of my way. Um, okay, portal will be forming. Ending segment and stuff. <laughs>